Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where of course we're back on the grind straight away. We're going to go through the Bitcoin chart and the next levels of support and resistance that I am literally trading right now as we are speaking. Hope that you really enjoy the video and let's get into the charts. This is our passion, this is our love and this is Bitcoin. What we have right now is once again a really, really, really nice trading range. Uh, we love ranges and we actually do have one right now. From the point of control of this rise to the what I'm labeling the first resistance uh, locally on this Bitcoin chart. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this, this range it doesn't look that big on the screen, but this is actually a crazy, massive 16% range. And we've actually already tested the range low once and come up to the high. So that's already one winning 16% trade we've taken. But yeah, I mean, it's we just got this range. And obviously, I want to cover the levels further up to the upside and, and to the downside here uh, during the course of this video. But First of all, we have to acknowledge, obviously, we got we got the meme top on from that short, obviously, from $63,000 to $32,000, one of the most epic trades we've ever seen. And uh, I want to remind you all, before we begin this video, you can go and watch the live stream yesterday called CC Pool Runs the Bitcoin Market. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, but it's a good hour and 20 minutes of your time spent. You can go through, watch the analysis, and uh, yeah, I don't want to go through it all again in this video, but I do recommend you take some time and go and watch that one because many people, <laughs> brilliant comments from people just saying it like made their day, gave them a smile and they also learned something as well. So it's, I think it was a really good video to go back and watch if you haven't already or if you have, go watch it again. So that brings us up to, yeah, where we are here after obviously that massive, massive, massive drop from $63,000 all the, well, actually, no, $65,000 to $30,000. Obviously my short was from $63,000 to $32,000, a level I was 32,000 that I had been waiting for for months. And that's where obviously this, the meme come about with the, uh, actually, yeah, it was, it's, uh, it, the meme was born when we had the 32K target. And from there, wow, it's just really hilarious how it, how it all come to fruition. And well, absolutely brilliant. But then this is the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here for technical analysis, but you're also here for my work ethics, I believe, and how I come to trade the charts every day. And, um, <clears throat> You know, even even when I'm dying, I'm still giving you content. It's the thing is, I think that this is, um, you know, this is what I, I talk about it quite a lot because I feel it's really, really, really important. And this is the psychology that's within the market and how, you know, at the end of the day, the technical analysis is not overly hard. You know, it's, you know, I'm not going to say it's easy, but I'm also not going to say it's like extremely mathematical or anything. It's like, you know, it's it can be done by everybody. I truly believe that if they put in the time and effort. So why, you know, why if the technical analysis is considered not too difficult, why why are there still so many people losing? And I always say it's come down to the emotions and psychology. Like I had that $63,000 short. So did many other people in the group. But, you know, some people don't hold on to it. They close it too early for a whole list of reasons. OK, I knew it, for me it was a swing trade. But, you know, just like today, you know, there's, there's, there's going to be, you know, I gave this level to the group to everybody, but doesn't mean everybody obviously longed it because everybody has at the end of the day their own psychology. Like, do they have the confidence, etc., etc., etc.? But what I will say, there's two main reasons in trading why people succeed and others don't. Well, one comes down to you know that certain degree of like emotions and and really conquering and overcoming them. Like myself, obviously, I didn't start as this trader I am today. No, it's obviously took years of work and effort and you know blood, sweat, and tears along the way, and now I feel I've come up and you know, doing pretty well at the moment. And, um, you know, it doesn't start off that way. And, you know, the psychology is one major factor. But moving on, I want to cover the, the next factor. And that is, in my opinion, work ethic. Uh, work ethic. <laughs> so what do I mean by this? It's it's like I say in trading, there's there's winners and there's losers. So I'm just, I am in a trade right now. So I kind of just want to see what's going on. But yeah, in trading, there's winners and there's losers. Some people win for every one, you know, one for every one buy, there's one sell order. So really, we can say for every one winner, there's a loser. You know, it's a zero sum game. So when everybody is looking at the same charts, you know, at the end of the day, everybody looks at the same data. And then we see thousands and thousands of different opinions on the exact same chart. Like, why does everyone have such stark differing opinions when everyone's looking at the same thing? Well, obviously, it comes down to their technical analysis and also their experience. And last but not least, their work ethic. And it's like we were saying yesterday, I think I said this on the live stream itself, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, 
you know, I took a, to be honest, I took an absolutely massive win yesterday with the move to that, the downside, and not only that, with the, the bounce back up. And, you know, many people, when they see the amount of money that we're making, you know, like they say, people are going to retire, people are going to celebrate. It's like the lottery winners. How many people win the lottery and within the next year they're broke? Quite, you know, statistics are pretty high. Um, and it's because they kind of waste their money, they waste their time, and, you know, they, they don't stick true to what they're trying to do. And, you know, this is me. We've done that amazing trade yesterday. And this was my comment yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we unlocked a new Bitcoin holding, <laughs> holding achievement today with a substantial Bitcoin increase. But already, back to the hustle. Champions never stop. Let's find the next setup. So we had just taken a massive win with this move up. But instead of, instead of obviously, I had my live stream celebration, but we were straight back out to it. Straight back to a live stream. Straight back to finding the next setup. You know, that I really feel is a highlight of what separates us. You know, what, what really... At the end of the day, we are all looking at the same thing. So how are we able to have such an edge on the market and continuously do this day after day after day? It's because we are putting in that extra bit of effort. And that 0.01% extra bit of effort is what separates the winners from the losers. And that's my honest opinion. So where am I going with this? You can see here we bounced off of this level, $35,032. We bounced off of this last, well early this morning. Why am I going with this? Well, this was the exact level that I gave in the live stream that I did yesterday. As you can see there, $35,032. That was the level I was ready and waiting too long, okay, with, with, with a drop to the downside, which I also was saying in the stream, I thought it was probably the most probable that we are going to retrace, and we, we did. So this is the thing. I could have gone off and celebrated, but no, I came straight back. I'd done a Contenders and Champions live stream and I gave the next level. Yeah, my exact words were, let's find the next setup. I found the next setup and today, well, that's that's yesterday. That's today where we come down, <clears throat> hit the point of control of the rise. And you can see here comments from many, many people making money on that trade set up with us. Somebody even took in it, taking a short but high, obviously hitting into that first resistance. I would say that's absolutely, absolutely acceptable. But that is, yeah, if that's not a pinnacle of, you know, what hard work can do for you, then I don't know really what to say. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So we obviously come down, back tested that point of control. That is a 16% rise to the upside. Bam, that's amazing. And personally, like the other guy did, I personally did also take a short for the high. Why? Because we came up, Swing failure pattern of the high, okay? Bit of a swing failure pattern, obviously we're on the five minute time frame here. And we were coming into that first big resistance level. Again, that's the exact same resistance that I gave last night. Okay, we came into this. So for me, naturally, that is a short. We obviously come down and what do we do? Just like we took the high here, okay? Just like we took the high there, let's just delete everything a second. Just like we take the high here, we then take the lows here, okay? So you see, we had the series of highs. We took that for a short, in my opinion. We come down, we take the lows for a long, in my opinion. <laughs> so, you know, the, even, even within here, there's a range. You might be like, but how can you trade this range? It's tiny. This range is not tiny. This is a range of four, nearly 5%. So, yeah, there, there are, and I'm happy with this. We're also seeing the rise again off of it. But, I mean, there are many trades to be taken here. There really are. That one was it was pretty easy. That one was pretty easy. And, to be honest, those last three trades were pretty easy. But it's like yesterday. I remember I closed, uh, I personally closed 50% on my long from from the from the lows there and then you know with that right well let's add it back on the technical analysis didn't actually want to delete it all <laughs> but then from that i'm able to add it all back on lower so it's just like yeah it's a lovely way to trade but yeah moving on here i want to move on to what's happening now so obviously we just saw a bit of a you know run of the lows we have our resistance there at 40 you know let's just say forty one thousand dollars just under um so what we're going to be saying to ourselves is if we are able to break this first resistance, then where's our next resistance? Well, I had this really nice trend line that I'm kind of looking at. Again, if this takes a little bit of time, we can see that would come in at around $43,000. So I do think that we got, you know, obviously initially 41, well, we're basically at resistance right now. So, um, you know, more or less we're at resistance. So we are at resistance. Um, if we are able to break this resistance and hold it, then I would be looking up to around this 43 thousand dollar region being that trend line resistance and you know that's a downtrend resistance line should be fairly you know in my opinion should be fairly fairly important uh, at least for like intraday scalp trades which i'm really interested in right now 
Um, so I'm looking at 43k for the next level to the upside. Obviously, the level to the downside, very, 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 very easy. It's the exact level I gave to my team yesterday. And I, <laughs> that's $35,000. Um, again, that's a 16% bounce uh, for, to give us now a smaller range within this. Um, so, yeah, that would that would be my just the level to the downside that I'm really looking at right now. Um, let's see what the stock market. So the stock market is moving down at the moment. So, you know, we generally say there's a correlation between Bitcoin and the stock market. Altcoin's recovering really well today. So yeah, I've been tra I've just got back into Litecoin. Took a few altcoins last night, but um, yeah, this video is for Bitcoin. But um, yeah, I think that that's really what I wanted to bring you in this video was these levels. The level to the upside that I'm looking at, which is this trend line, okay, taken from the 14th of May to the 16th of May, so the two highs, connecting them on, gives us this resistance trend line, uh, which I personally think will come in in the amount of time at around $43,000. Um, important support of the day is $35,000. If you wanted that in the time, wow, I gave it last night. And to say that, the, you know, some people say our membership's expensive. Firstly, it's the best membership you're ever going to see in the world. Secondly, I think it's fair to say it pays for itself. Um, there you go. Thank you, Dan. $35,000 to $40,000, 1,200% gains. I mean, it's fairly nice. But um, at the end of the day, that's what we got. That are literally, I'm, I'm being serious. They are literally what I'm trading from. Again, I must obviously let's load up the disclaimer before we get too much problems. Obviously, of course, ladies and gentlemen, trading this with paper money, uh, demo accounts, and all this. But uh, at the end of the day, the important thing is no financial advice, just entertainment, educational, video only. Do your own research. All that, all that good sort of legal stuff. Remember, remember that it's very, very, very important. Uh, what will I end with? I'll end with saying this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the chart champions, uh, the Champions League season three. So if you haven't joined already, go and join right now. Stop what you're doing and go and join. We want to get this up to the max prize pool. Even if you don't really want to trade in it, sign up with an account and then deposit 0.025 Bitcoin and, and, and you can join in. You know, there's, there's no, no risk. You don't lose anything if you don't trade. You can just join in and increase the prize pool really. So yeah, that's obviously details of that over on the Discord, or you can go back to the video, which is called uh, Two Bitcoin Giveaway Competition and follow the instructions there. So is that it that I wanted to remind you of? Oh yeah, uh, I will remind you of this. Customer service managed to get everyone a $100 bonus that actually deposits 0 0.2 Bitcoin um, under the affiliate link. So that's extra of what you can already get. So you can get a hundred dollar bonus if you join via the link as well. So, I mean, there's lots of reasons to join the competition. It starts tomorrow. So if you're watching this, you've got to sign up now. Otherwise, you're going to miss the entry date because it, it literally starts tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, with that said, I think that's really everything that I wanted to go over. We've talked through. Obviously, the massive decline that we had bouncing off around thirty thousand dollars, the rise, which is coming up to our forty one K resistance level. The current support, which is $35,000, being the point of control. The next rally that we've had back up here, the run of the lows, and the mini range that we have going on here. Okay, so yeah, that, that literally is, you know, that's literally how I'm trading it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I have got a contenders live stream. Wow, I've got so much. I've got a contenders live stream tonight. So if you want to go through that, we're going actually through the TPO charts tonight. So if you want to learn about TPO, then that is what I will be doing tonight. Um... So yeah, that's for the contenders and champions. So much content. <laughs> the hustle is real. I love it so much. Um, yeah, and I hope you do too. Thank you, everybody. And let's end with the meme of $63,000 to $32,000 short, long from the low, 30% rise to now. I mean, it's, it's perfect. I'm not going to, yeah, exactly as predicted. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>